got your moonshot. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? I can't wait till I'm the only one running this town. So welcome to our humble police house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can I help you with something? Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look. This will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay, well, the price is fair, here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Gone. Show that permit to whoever's got to see it. You got the permit. Did anything else? Now, this could be a yawn, but Kate said yesterday a man. You must be damn stupid if you think you could come back here.
stay. You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. This is very kind of you.
Take me to damn cork then. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no animals, take no wife. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them for me to marry them. They killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live. <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What the hell you say, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You may. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can... Pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in the animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across a pasture sometime after storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air. Smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No. If I hadn't seen the storm, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief, but no, sir. It was light. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand. That's the fellow that took our moves. Yeah. Sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Professor will be real pleased to meet you. Oh, no! 
Here. I got him. You're wonderful. Come on. <sighs> Don't be shy now. Let's go. <sighs> Bring him over here. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along.